What is up, fairy boys? How's that progressive overload routine going? Do you look like a marble statue yet? Are you hitting that big three, bro? The bench, squat, and deadlift? Still masturbating over Athlean X videos? Are you mesmerized by Vegan Gaines' fat seps? Now that I'm somewhat muscular, you weirdos can make a cardboard cutout of my face to put on your girlfriend while she's pegging you. Uh, that is, if you're not already doing that. Uh, so it's been almost three months since I've started lifting weights again after a, you know, several year hiatus of eight to nine years of bodybuilding. I've put on about 15 pounds of lean mass over the past three months, started at 142 pounds. Now I'm around 156 at five foot eight. Now this wouldn't be considered impressive if not for the fact that I don't work out my upper legs. So hypothetically, if I was working out my legs, I'd have at least, you know, 10 pounds of muscle on each leg. So I should weigh 175, 180 right now. And my peak bodybuilding weight was 180, 185 pounds. So I still wasn't doing legs back then. I could have weighed 205, 210, 215, who knows? So being an upper bodybuilder, I like to think that amount of lean mass on my upper body is at least somewhat impressive. I missed maybe two or three days of training. You know, the gym was closed on Thanksgiving. Uh, there was one day where I felt like I was gonna die, and then another day, uh, it was really bad weather. Uh, but the main crutch I've had is my sleep and blood donations. Over the past week, my sleep has been getting better, but the first two and a half months, maybe four hours per night. I'm just working so hard doing YouTube videos every day. So, you know, recovery hasn't been ideal. On top of that, I had high ferritin levels, which is high iron in the blood. And the only way to lower your ferritin is phlebotomies, AKA, you know, scheduled blood donations, where the doctor can actually write a script for me to give blood every single week. Normally, you're only allowed to donate blood like once every three to four months, you know, because your body has to recover. So every single week for the past three months, I've donated 500 milliliters of blood. And I might do one more donation, uh, but I've had problems with my health insurance and I've been unable to test what my ferritin levels currently are. Uh, obviously, you know, donating blood puts a lot of stress on the body and it's definitely inhibitory from a muscle building standpoint. You know, that combined with the lack of sleep, I am ecstatic to say the least with the results I've gotten so far. But since I will no longer be giving blood and since my sleep is getting better, uh, the progress over these next few months I think is going to be just as substantial if not better. Uh, I'm not going to discuss my training routine, uh, but I will say that I don't lift what people consider heavy weights and I have not used flat bench press, squat, or deadlift. It's a high volume routine focused on constantly depleting muscle glycogen and optimizing muscle recovery windows. In regards to my diet, for the first two months, I didn't have any considerable amount of carbohydrates, maybe a bit of yogurt here and there, but over the past month, I've incorporated a lot of raw dairy, you know, plenty of raw milk, tablespoon or two of honey every day, you know, a lot more yogurt, some raw cream, and only over the past week or so has my carbohydrate content exceeded, you know, 50, 60 grams per day. But back four years ago when I did my fitness competition, I didn't eat any carbs at all. I was literally just eating, you know, two to three pounds of steak per day with about half a pound of raw butter. Uh, most of you doubted me, and there were a few people who supported me, even reached out for my training routine, uh, but for those of you that still want to talk shit, uh, wait another three months and then I'll crunch you into a basketball in two seconds instead of three. Uh, I'm expecting there to be some negative vegans as well as carnivore mongoloids who make ridiculous accusations such as steroids, yet those same people defend a person who breaks world records and deadlifts 800 pounds. Why don't you go spit shine your bald ass head and stop hoping I take steroids? I understand. A lot of you have been told your entire lives you need to lift heavy, progressive overload, squat, bench, deadlift, and there might be some truth to those aspects, but there's a lot of misconceptions in the fitness community, just like there are misconceptions in the traditional bodybuilder chicken and rice diet, you know, that fruits and vegetables are healthy. The average, even advanced person falls victim to these ideologies, the echo chamber. A lot of you follow me because of my understanding of nutrition, which is something that a few people have demonstrated in general, let alone on YouTube specifically. And is it so hard for you bro science meatheads to realize that someone who's been in the gym for 10 years 
might know a few things that you don't. Uh, I guess you boys will find out when you're writing me a check three months from now. I'm sorry about the lighting. The sun is just setting and I was trying to get some natural light in to film this video, uh, but we'll hit a couple of poses uh, just so you guys have a frame of reference for where I'm at three months in. You know, I honestly don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go for six months for sure. Is this gonna, you know, blow up my YouTube channel enough that I'm going to do more fitness oriented stuff? I don't know, but spending an hour and a half in the gym every day, eating all this food is not fun. You know, the reason I stopped bodybuilding in the first place is because I didn't want to do steroids. I thought it was pointless. You know, natural bodybuilding is like the most ironic thing. And every professional sport requires steroids and performance enhancing drugs and bodybuilding. It's just so much more obvious. Uh, so we'll hit some poses. Uh, I don't practice posing. I've never practiced posing. Uh, but I'm fairly familiar with them. We'll just use this as kind of a frame of reference. And another reason I stopped bodybuilding is because I don't really have the frame for bodybuilding. You know, I don't have a V taper. I don't have a thin waist. I don't have wide shoulders. I don't have low lat insertions. I don't have the I have decent muscle insertions. My, my chest insertions are terrible. Uh, so a lot of things going against me from the bodybuilding front. Plus my frame is relatively small in general. Uh, you know, five foot eight is a pretty good height for professional bodybuilding, but you know, you can't fix the bone structure, the insertions, all of that stuff. So, <sighs> and I don't know, I might try to do a natural men's physique competition sometime next year. But as I said, guys, I really don't have the frame. I really don't have the muscle insertions for this. You know, I think there was like a decent pose that I was able to hit that kind of hid all of like my structural issues. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, either way, uh, thank you to the few who supported me and, you know, even the few who didn't support me. But at least if you boys and girls don't like me, maybe you could like the video and subscribe for me killing myself for these three months. Uh, so... Uh, of course, share the video. Uh, if you guys do want to support me further, you can check out Frankie's Free Range Meat for high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. And you can go to frank-stefano.com for fitness, nutrition, bodybuilding, consulting. Uh, you guys can definitely expect, you know, around March or April, I will be coming out with a full video routine that will be for sale including the diet that I do, you know, a bunch of secrets, bunch of tips, and uh, Frankie Boy uh, might actually make a decent living. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, but thanks again for joining me, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day. Oh, Frank, you're on steroids. Oh, Frank, you just have good genetics. Guys, I, I've told you. Why do you think the outro to my video is chiseled from marble, cast in bronze, forged from steel? Like this isn't an exaggeration. I literally have like 99% fast twitch muscles. You guys saw what I looked like before the transformation, not lifting weights at all. I told you guys, I lifted weights for eight years. I'm, I've, ex you know, it doesn't matter what words come out of my mouth apparently. You guys just want to see some giant muscular dude, like a bunch of muscle weirdos.